Hey, Steve here. Uh, project of the day. Got a little charity project going on here. I help some people out. So I'm going to turn part of this uh, lumber right here into another one of these uh, anchors. And while I'm at it, might be easier to make uh, one extra one. So made this one before. Made the brown one up on the shed and uh, years ago. And uh, uh, kind of refined it a little bit, making the white one here that hangs on the lighthouse out front. So going to make a couple patterns here. Uh, you can see here, people think you kind of need to use a 2x8, but... What I did here in the past, I used a 2x6 and glued it right here to make these small corners on. And uh, use, uh, you know, high quality wood uh, exterior glue. That won't come off of there. Didn't even need to screw them. Put those pieces on first and then uh, cut your uh, piece out. Comes out all in one piece, gives you a nice even cut. So uh, get some pictures of that in a minute. Okay, just wanted to show you during the building process here. What I've done is uh, I punched this hole out of here and uh, I was able to uh, save that plug out of there and I got some other building projects so I made uh, some wheels for uh, some toy wood vehicles for the grandkids. Uh, I'm gonna make this long cut here with the table saw and then when I come down to here I drill a hole in here so that when I come around with the band saw it makes a radius then the table saw makes this long cut. The other thing you want to do here is this perpendicular line here is for that cross pin and if you cut both sides off of here, you'll have an angle to work with and you won't be able to follow the straight line. So I use the drill press right here in this Forster bit to drill that hole through there. Then I'm going to rip up along the side right here with the table saw up to that pin. So uh, yeah, these are a couple steps that you need to uh, stop and kind of do and makes life easier on the first one I made. I didn't do this and had uh, to freehand that line through there to get that pin square in there. So it makes it a lot easier, and plus by taking the one taper off the side of here uh, gave me less to have to drill through with the bit right here. So uh, these are a couple steps you want to slow down and do, and this is about four and a quarter inch diameter here, and I think an inch and a half in the center, and like I said, I was able to salvage that piece for a wood project or something else. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, look at this. Uh, instead of, you can build this all out of a two by six, instead of uh, needing to have one wide board I plane area I went ahead and took the table saw and cut the uh, radius off of uh, about 40 inches of uh, two by six and then butted these two pieces together right here and glued them. These will be the uh, arch for the bottom of that um, anchor side right there. This is just dirt on this piece of wood, but this will get primed anyway. But just give you an idea here, and then I'll show you when I get it laid out to cut it. Okay, getting a little bit farther along on the anchor here. Something I did kind of discover while I was working on this. When I glued this, if you glue this extra long right here, I did find out you don't have to glue the secondary pieces on like I did on these others. You could leave that extra long. If you notice, this piece right here came all out of one 2x6. And really, the only corner piece on here, right here's the line, where I glued the secondary piece. If you come out here extra long on this piece here, you only need this corner on, so a uh, little bit less work. So I found that out afterwards, uh, making two of these. Here's three of the pieces, so. Okay, here we go. I uh, run a router all the way around these edges here. You can see. Getting ready to put some paint on, kind of forgot here, but I uh, run a router all the way around there, and then I took a belt sander and finished it up. Smoothed it up. Drove the pin through and put some white primer on here. Get her finished up here. Okay, here we go. Got this uh, anchor a little bit farther along. For somebody that might want to try to make this, I got a couple measurements for you. Uh, 41 tall and a ride around 31 from side to side. So if you could freehand and uh, make one of these left sides, I'd just flip it over and make a duplicate and uh, mark them so you know which one's which and you'll have a opposite side that looks the same. Um, I got two big screws in here. If you can see them here. Okay, down in there there's one. Then what I did on this seam here, I put liquid nails on there. In between, drew these two screws down uh, tight in there and let it set overnight. Next job's gonna be is I'm going to take a router, clamp this down to the table, and go on both surfaces all the way around and put just a uh, small uh, bevel all the way around there to finish it off a little bit. A little bit of sanding, and for the time being, I'm just going to put a white primer on these. 